Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Alright. So I should talk to Ransom the Clown. Let's go back to the outskirts of town and see if Definitely I... Definitely Reyes's notebook. Oh, there's a Tempting. But no, I won't bore myself. There's also A Street, huh? I haven't been on A Street yet. Uh oh. Somebody's recording the quickie now. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened to him. That's not like he got horribly murdered or anything. Find Reyes. Not that I want to. The Hitchin Post. Liquor, love, and awesome ribs. Aw, oh, close. Damn, I wanted some liquor, love, and awesome ribs. Rough. The bar's out of business. Could have used a stiff one. See? Ray and I are on the same page here. Nickel News. Your sheriff wants you to be clean and green of Reno. <laughs> Don't litter on the highway or vandalize the storefronts. You should also wear better clothes. Paid for by the Lenore Edmund Mulch Beautification of Thimbleweed Park Project. Are there more? Bust on down to the bakery, cause Ricky's Cakes is going out of business. The hotcakes are not as popular as we expected, so we're selling in bulk. 50% discount on Thimbleberry Pie when you grab one of Ricky's sticky buns. Your sheriff wants uh, you to be clean down. and green of Reno. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. <laughs> a totally radical convention with all your favorite sci-fi shows, comic books, and the latest computer and video game technology. Listen to our sponsor, KSCUM 198.7 FM, for your chance to win tickets. Key ceremony at City Hall. Come and watch beloved entrepreneur Reno Chuck Edmond receive the key to the town for his contribution. Wonder what Reyes got himself into. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Oh, another line got cut off. Hmm. That's a shame. That's happened a couple times now. Not like super often, but... Playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Blast bad guys in a tournament of our latest game. Die, enemy, die. Highest score gets free tokens all night. Die, enemy, die. Wanted. Booze donations. Help out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. <laughs> Come find me by the burning trash can near Occult Books. Oh, that's a clue, I guess, to where to find them. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Dad wanted sons, but he got daughters. So let us fix your leaking waters. With our latest Wrenchtron 3000 technology. We can fix paranormal emergencies, possibly. Bust on down to the bakery, cause Ricky's Cakes is safely first savings. Where saving safely is saving smartly. Please note that homeless people and tentacle creatures are not eligible for small business loans. <laughs> your sheriff wants you to be clean and green of Reno. Turn your dials to KSCUM 198.7 FM for the gnarliest hits from local artists. DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tuna Head. <laughs> Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Insult Clown. Minors must be accompanied by an adult. And if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. Razor and the Scumettes playing live at the Hitchin Post. Support by GT and the suction cups. Mechanical bull rides free all night. Sweet. Roses are red, pillows are white. Get our special bundle and stay up all night. 
$50 Valentine's special at Fancy Nancy Flowers, sponsored by Pilotronic. Not that I care, but I'm starting to get a bit worried about Reyes. I, I get it. Cop you trying to be thousand. I can't talk to the cop you trying to be thousand. It's a color copy Tron 3000. Color copy Tron 3000 for all your copying needs. Copies, five cents each. Cryptozoologists and UFO enthusiasts. Cryptozoologists and UFO enthusiasts flooded the town after a tentacle sighting. Botulism scared us in the diner. Botulism scared at SMB diner. Health inspectors cite hot dogs as source. Oh wow, there's a lot of these. Surreal filmmaker Hannibal Finch scouting thimbleweed as film location. Horror author Merton Steele finds inspiration for book after a stay at the Edmund Hotel. Madame Morena says, I told you so, as Sheriff eats hat after a stunning TV wrestling defeat. Local groundskeeper wins Holy Award. Doug Braverman has won the long overdue award. Mine caught in compromising clown car caper. 21 accomplices saw. <laughs> oh boy. Cryptozoologist mistakes local plumber for wear pigeon. Lawsuit pending. Talk to you soon, Natalie. I gotta read all these he uh, headlines. Riot at the Hitchin Post after an erroneous razor at the Scumette sighting. Yeah, with that one. SD Diner attempts world record for biggest thimbleberry pie deemed inedible. Baby gators escape from Pet Emporium. Are the sewers their new home? Mystery violin music is driving town folk mad, says a local conspiracy theorist. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Investigating the murder. Know anything? We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? <sighs> you? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of... odd -a Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. 
Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. <laughs> Hard bark insemination. Hard bark insemination. Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Tell me more. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the Seventh Amendment? Nope. That provides for the right to trial by jury in certain civil cases, according to common law. Don't you mean the Eighteenth Amendment? No. That prohibited the manufacturing or sale of alcohol within the United States, but repealed in 1933. Don't you mean the Twelfth Amendment? No. That revises presidential election procedures. Don't you mean the Sixth Amendment? Nope. That protects the right to a fair and speedy public trial by jury, including the rights to be notified of the accusations, to confront the accuser, and to retain counsel. Don't you mean the 23rd Amendment? Nope. That grants the District of Columbia electors in the Electoral College. I think I got all of them. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Thimbleweed Nick. Well, I'm getting what I wanted to be the only agent on the case. Thimbleweed Nickel. Established 19. Boy, you can't see behind the post either. Oh, she's got a police trunk 3000 also. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman out by the circus being noisy. Chuck Edmund wins one million dollars in Quickie Pal Lotto using his lucky number 117. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be a clue. I'll have to remember that. 117. Skunk sets off smoke alarm in Quickie Pal bathroom. Quickie Pal Leonard oblivious. Lenore Edmond arrested for DUI as she screamed, Do you know who I am? A cold oddball Madame Morena warns Tao of purple meteor strike in the coming days. Gutenberg would be proud. I don't want to open it. Why not? And with, that's everything here. If I look at ooh, there's a map. It's useful. It's a map of the Trithumbleweed Park County area. Ooh, can I make a copy of it? Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Okay. Maybe I can distract her somehow. She's waiting for a call about a woman at the circus. Uh, make, okay. So I need a second character that I can have in here. Then I need her or a different female character down at the circus making a uh, ruckus. That'll bring in a call. 
using the police truck. But still, I wonder what happened to Reyes. Yes, yes, I know. Maybe he was abducted and thrown in the sewer. That's probably what happened, actually. That will distract her, and then I could grab the map. And then, I could either keep the map or make a copy of it. Either way, once I have the map, maybe I can quick track or something. Or maybe it'll serve as an item in a puzzle. Laser disc chalet. All boarded up and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. Please mail something. Well, since 1987, people still stuff mail. Ah, people still mailed stuff back then. Postal scale. It's a postal scale. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Well, I am a federal agent, so that would be government use. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle of sorting. How can I help? Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know. It's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. I guess I'm gonna need some paperwork. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Got it! Ugh, that's terrible. Tell me a good postal joke. What did the mailman say to the customer who asked if he could ship a donkey in the mail? They told her they'd haul ass and find out! <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That's so funny, <laughs> I forgot to laugh. <laughs> He's just so terrible, I love it. Know any other postal jokes? What do postal workers do on their vacation? They go to the travel agent and book a package deal! Oh, dear God. <laughs> package! <laughs> You are the least funny person I've ever met. Oh, I don't know about that. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent. I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Don't leave town. I have eyes on you. I'll be right there. Too much sorting to do. Look, maybe you should just try switching to Reyes. The button is in the upper right corner. Oh, that wasn't there before. All right, so he's alive. <laughs> I like that the game's I like, listen, dude, just switch and the race. This murder so I can do what I need to do. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Huh, hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. It's made of plastic. No murder here. Looks like this valve has been welded into position forever. Was that the dust? Okay. 
Okay. It's my speck of dust. <laughs> okay. I got a speck of dust. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. So we go to that tunnel. Or this tunnel. I'm assuming I'm going to need a key. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. I can't budge it. What the speck of dust? Two specks of dust. It's my specks of dust. What for? There's another one. It's my specks of dust. Oh, wait. Okay. I think I get it. This is probably some sort of. Uh rib they're pulling out all the open world games where they make you collect completely useless bullshit just so uh basically just to pad out the time in the game it's like hey i must collect the thon oh guys uh an emergency call martin showitz looks like someone knew i was gonna get stuck down here unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. Oh. It needs a dime to work. I don't have a dime. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. Swallow it's cracked. Speck of, dust, speck of dust. I don't do anything, but I'll pick him up because what the hell? This time I gotta hunt for him. Pretty much out in the open. This valve has also been welded into position. I can't open that. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. All right, so that's gotta be, that's probably that sewer gate I was at before up on the surface that I, that was sealed. So I'm not getting out that way. Unless I get a blowtorch or something. An empty coin return slot. Damn. What if I shake it? I can't push that. I can't pull that. Hmm. So I'm guessing as uh, Ray, I'm going to need to get a dime and drop it into the sewer. Assuming she has some money. It's not something in my inventory. Ooh, a speck of dust. Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. Hey, it's Willie. Have you seen my dime? 
I used to have a dime, but I I dropped it. It's a hint, I know. I need a dime. Damn hole in my pocket always losing money. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. Nice. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. You really want to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> It looks like something with blood on it. It's not blood, just river mud. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um... Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't know. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I could legally beat you senseless for the wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before its career hit the skids. Now Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. So I need to get him a ransom the clown wallet. Tell me what you know about a guy named Chuck. Ah, uh, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Chuck must have had a reason to ruin you. I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you seen my dime? I wonder if he's burning anything important. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. I lost my diamonds somewhere. Hey, if you see a dime. Looks like they're having a big sale in there. Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. Whoa. Cold books. It says occult books. The monkey paw knows. Okay. No way I'm touching that. There's a speck of us. It's my specks of dust. This head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. 
I'm not getting any closer to that. It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. Creepy. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or... Or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Ray. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. For now. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Okay, so spill it. Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. <sighs> but if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? Yeah, if you can get me an for. Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. I'm pretty sure that's a controlled substance. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. Okay. I get the idea. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Enough. I get it. Jeez. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can. No matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex that idiot clown, Ransom? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Remind me never to piss you off. What's your deal? There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into this voodoo crap? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. That wasn't the answer I was expecting. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. <laughs> I suddenly feel like I picked the wrong profession. <laughs> That's a pretty good setup. Why did you open in this crap hole town? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy, which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy, like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. Trilogy of Owl Part 3, Rahuji. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Oh wow, there's a ton of... 50 slightly different shades of darkness. 50 spells of clay. 50 tricks for your hellhound. 50 uses for unexpected juices. 50 ways to leave your dimension. 50 ways to lev levitate your lover. 50 shades of... Shade, 50 Shades of Octarine, 50 Shades of Ghost, 50 Shades of Elaine Marley, 50 Shades of Dismay. Oh my goodness. 
I could spend an hour going through these. I'm probably gonna need one of these books, but until I find out what I need, I'm not gonna go through all of these. Curse eye drops. Hmm. It's a bottle of eye drops. Oh, I was able to take the cursed eye drops. Okay, cursed tea. Hmm, it's a package of tea. And I got tea. Do I have to pay for that? Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. How can I help? Goodbye. Damn hole in my pocket, always losing money. I know you traps your dime. I get it. Find the dime. I'm not giving it back to you because I need to give it to uh, Reyes so he can get out of the sewer. All right. So we'll leave off here. Next time, go to the outskirts of town and see if we can go up to the circus. I'm assuming that's how you get there.